This is how we ride. I'm a track, you didn't know I keep it peaceful like that peaceful. And in my spare time, you might catch me sitting down with my legs cracked You didn't know I really do that Yeah, who made a gun of three wishes, not a genie I'm But I'd be in all flying around that you knew me you know. See my past, present, and future No, it's for me, no, what's not, I keep it moving And you can't change the past Gotta move forward, we kept it flowing nah. Four predictions reading cancer hope all you guys been well out there if you're a returning magician i appreciate you for helping the channel grow if you're new don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button give a shout out down below as well let me know where you're tuning in from straight off the bat because i like to see where you guys are tuning in from we do have a global community here and it's very um very heartwarming to know that you guys tuned in from um, all kinds of locations right all kinds of locations here now cancer we're going to be getting into your scenario for january 2024 so we're going to be tapping into some of your energy here at the collective of my cancerians like i said some mean ascendant progressed if you don't know how to cast a natal chart then hit the first link down below and we can help you walk you through that if um google hasn't been any sort of help for you here now let's get straight into it cancer and waste no time short street let's get into the information unpacked we're still doing 50 percent off for the holidays if person if you look into book personal readings here only lasting until january 10th so make sure you guys tap in um as soon as you can be you can book for future dates as well so keep that in mind as well and i appreciate everyone that's already been tapping in here show me cancer cancerians it's the energy of cancer for january 2024 january 2024 show me cancer this month's energy Cancer in January 2024. Hearing the sun will shine soon from my cancers here. The sun will shine. You're learning how to receive. Maybe you're doing something in um, in a career where you're kind of curating the position for yourself in your career where you can receive um, money or some way, shape, or form, maybe being of service here. We have the five of wands. You may have to emotionally stand up for the actions that you're taking in some way, shape, or form this month. Maybe you're doing something that's unique to you that's bringing you money here that um, you're going to have to stand up for here. Maybe people don't understand why you do certain things or why you act on certain things. Um, here I do see, ju well, one, justice is coming out. The scales are being balanced here. Um, what goes around comes around. For a lot of you cancers, I think you're moving forward um, and kind of releasing old and negative karma, kind of come completing old cycles. Um, for others of you guys, I'm hearing justice is being served. So anyone that has done you wrong will receive this, uh, will receive their karma in their time. So don't stress certain things. Um, we do have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I do feel... Like you could be overthinking. Maybe sleeping is hard for you right now. Some of you guys, Cancer. Maybe you feel a little bit um, restless or like you overthink when you hit the bed. Maybe it's fighting for your emotional stability and why you're taking action in certain ways, right? Like standing up for standing up for how you feel towards certain things, right? Towards certain people, places, and things. Towards you know your own energies and things of that nature, Cancer. Yeah, Ace of Swords. I think you're getting clarity here. You're finding clarity within yourself and why certain, kind of, kind of getting to grips why certain thought forms um, affect you in certain ways. Right? Maybe the mindset of other people that like kind of project, uh, project on you that don't serve you here. I think you're kind of getting clarity on who you should, shouldn't listen to, what people, places, and things you should have conversations with. Death at the bottom of the deck there. Um, Scorpio energy you could have Scorpio in your chart. Scorpio could be significant to you. So for you, maybe dealing with the Scorpio for some people. 
I'm getting you've put in a lot of work. The Ten of Pentacles here, very fulfilled. I'm, I'm getting completion within your um, finances this month here. Cancer, I'm getting um, maybe receiving an opportunity here with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe receiving an opportunity that kind of allows this sense of fulfillment in your status and allows you to kind of head back into or kind of solidify your finances here. More money, I'm getting. Um, the Emperor, trust your decision making. Trust the experiences that you went through that can lead you to new opportunities or different environments, different new places and things here. So about underlying stories for you guys, Cancerians. I'm just running through a little bit for you guys. Um, we do have the Magician and the Ace of Pentacles popping out. I think you have everything in your environment, Cancer, to curate or develop a sense of status or stability for yourself that you need. Whether this is an, an entrepreneurship-like journey, we see the, uh, the Emperor here, here as well. You could be connected with an Aries, but I'm getting entrepreneur vibes. Maybe you have your own business here. I'm getting a sense of fulfillment is on the way to this business. Let me clarify the energy of Cancer in January. Let's get straight to it, Cancer. Let's get straight to it. In position one, we have fortune. Oh, you're moving forward. This is progressive. Very nice, Cancer. Very nice here. At the bottom of the deck, we do see the Nine of Cups as well. So you're expanding within your opportunity or you're expanding within some sort of relationship here. Um, maybe you're moving forward from something, um, from a past relationship to new fulfillment. Maybe you're moving forward just progressively with yourself and kind of done with the stagnicity, done with the things that no longer served you, the people, places, and things that no longer serve you that kind of kept you stuck from moving forward. I think you're learning to release those things now, especially with the swords energy, especially right here. We do have the two of swords coming out. I'm getting, you're moving forward. You're trying to progress here, Cancer, but you may be in the crossroads for some of you guys um, with a decision. Maybe there's there's two people um, here for some of you guys. If it's a career, it's two it's two career choices. Does this, does this make sense for me or does it not make sense for me, right? And it's kind of developing a clear picture on on those decisions here um for others if you can't just maybe there's two people in your life here that you want to move forward with but you're trying to make a decision who you should move forward with here um especially with that ace of swords and getting clarity will come to you as well and the answer will be shown and the direction for you to choose will appear this month in january i'm seeing with that ace of cups and especially i mean with the ace of swords and especially with the nine of cups here i do see you expanding in a relationship or an opportunity here um I think that decision is just something that has to be made for yourself here, Cancerians. Uh, let's get into position three with the hidden influences here. The hidden influence is judgment. Um, so I think you know, Cancer, right now that it's time to make a decision. Um, I think you know that there is no time to wait here, whether it's a decision within business. As I always say before I get into this card, this is not just a business and career reading. This is not just a love and relationship reading. This is a life reading. So this could simply be a life decision as well. You know, maybe what choice should and what choice are you making to kind of go about your life and how you want to go about your life here, Cancer, um, moving forward in your future. Because I think now you realize is the time for you to kind of buckle up and make a choice um, with the direction you want to go in your life, Cancer. And that could be with people, that could be with businesses in general. So you can apply it where necessary here. I think you'll know within your own life, Cancerians, where that resonates for you. So I'm going to pick a mystery card here as I split the deck. I do see death. Scorpio energy is significant. We've seen that as I was as I was shuffling and getting ready to pull these cards as well. So maybe maybe Scorpio energy is significant for you. Maybe Scorpio is some sort of confirmation for you. If that is in your chart or maybe in your life, maybe they're dealing with some energy related to that. Um, but that is significant as well. Maybe that could be confirmation for the direction or the choice to pick. But you can... You know, besides that, too, I do see that whatever whatever choice that you decide to make here, whatever decision that's going to lead you to move forward, that's going to that you're comfortable and that's fulfilling for you to move forward here. I think that's going to cause a very deep transformation here for you with the Scorpio energy. And I think the transformation is, you know, um, a positive transformation for you. We'll see the outcome cards of this here um, as we as we move forward. But, you know, I do see positive transformation based upon the decision that you make. I think um you should look towards positive transformation as well, um, towards whatever decision that you're making here, my Cancerians. 
if it is if it's not suited for you in the long run and if it doesn't um, benefit who you are your state of being and your well-being then it could obviously be a transformation for the worst but i think you can make that choice on your own here my cancerians so stick with me till the end we're gonna pull a mystery card here we're gonna shuffle the deck get a confirmation card we're gonna pull this card at the end this is from our handy dandy thoth deck here as well um usually we do our spreads with the thoth but we're doing our january 2024 predictions with our rider weight smith deck here so guys drop a comment down below um you could use a term out of the rider weight smith tarot i will know which card that is being referenced here as well so we'll pick a because uh, the deck is similar with with certain energies so don't be too hesitant on dropping that down below show me cancerian's confirmation for january 2024 but i do see you at a crossroads here cancer currently um and this crossroads is based upon the time it's calling you it's saying the time is now i'm seeing the empress twice i'm hearing trust your intuition on how you move forward here the moon i'm hearing everything isn't how it seems certain things aren't how it seems so you have to trust your intuition um, i'm hearing also follow your dreams right follow your dream uh relationship maybe your dream job maybe your dream life i think go towards that i'm hoping this can give you some clarity on the answers and decisions that you want to make within your own life cancer show me cancer for january 2024 Okay, so we're going to pull this off top. I'm going to put that right there. I almost flipped that over real quick. <laughs> um, we have the Queen of Cups again as well in alignment with the Queen of Pentacles that we've seen earlier here. I don't believe it's at the bottom. No, we have the Nine of Cups here. All right, so yes, yeah, so the Judgment Time is now. This is a hidden influence. This is in your environment. So whether this is being communicated to you, you're, you're being privy to some sort of information within your environment or within your friend circle, um, maybe family circle, friend circle, relationship circle, some way, shape, or form that the time is up, the time is now, the time is now to make a decision in order for you to move forward here. I think you do want to move forward, which is why this is in the past. I think you understand the fortune, um, what's fortunate for you moving forward, and that's what's giving you, you know, putting in this you in this judgment energy in order for you to make a decision. Because I think you know what's for you in order for you to move forward and progress in your life here. Um, but it's, it seems a little bit tough to make a decision for some of you guys, and you're in that energy currently. If not currently, then that is your energy throughout January as a whole here. Um, but I see the energy of January is progression. In position four, we do have the Six of Pentacles. And this is the obstacle here to overcome. So for my Cancerians, the obstacle here for you guys with the Six of Pentacles, you see the Six of Pentacles is a very harmonious card. It's a very business-oriented card. It's, it's very... Um, give and receive right so it's like what i make I'm, I'm 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 comfortable with my money i'm comfortable with giving i'm not too arrogant with how i hold my money and things of that nature right you're you're giving and receiving you're having that balance here um i think that may be a challenge for you right now maybe there's um maybe there's maybe there's maybe there needs to be some sort of balance within a career right this could be within a career your job right some sort of balance that needs to be here and that may be the obstacle in your focus for this month. Maybe, you, maybe you're looking to get a job here that allows you to feel a little bit more balanced and a little bit more equal with uh, maybe like your play, your work and play life, right? So it's like, how can I balance this out here with, a, with the work, with a job? And um, I think that's going to be the obstacle here in January, your main focus here, my Cancerians, on where you want to position yourself and what you want to do um, or utilize to create a sense of stability in your life here. That way you can bring... The balance back where you can have a even and balanced work and play life here um which is very nice you see the six the six of pentacles is also letting me know that you are paying attention to your job you are paying attention to your career um maybe it's a decision with that you know what do you want to move forward with with your career and i think some clarity needs to develop um needs to be developed throughout january here that's going to allow you to make a decision make a further decision so you are continually informed here on what's the best you know what job is for you and what's not based upon that's what you're paying attention to 
And you may need, for some of you guys, you may need to focus on your money. I'm hearing you may need to pay attention to your finances a little bit more, pay attention to your career, um, because there's some balance that needs to be made here. It's judgment time. And I do feel like in order for you to move forward, you do have to solidify that area of your life in terms of finances, in terms of career. And um, that'll help you move forward as well. See, so it is a challenge this month in January, and I think that's what the focus is and what you're paying attention to here. We're gonna look at that, what you're also paying attention to in position six when we get there as well. So we're gonna move straight on to position five. We do have the Emperor. I think I've seen this card for you a few times, Cancer. I'm not too sure, but you may be connected with an Aries. You could have Aries prominent in your chart, so make sure you check out the Aries reading so you get a holistic picture of what's going on here. But I do see the Emperor energy here. And like I said, I do see in position five, this is other influences here. So this is other perspectives here, right? Others perspectives and what other people are seeing here or external perspective or external influence. So you see, I do think, I do think you're emotionally connecting to a higher sense of wisdom that you've curated based upon past experience right and i do think here it's important for you to come to grips with understanding where you came from and how far you've came to know that in order to move forward a decision has to be made so you can keep on prospering here so it's like look look from look to your past look to your future look to your present moment um how are you feeling and why did certain situations in the past make you feel, whether business related or relationship related or just life in general, right? How did you feel in the past and what, what, what really brings you this fulfillment here? And what do you really know is no longer for you, right? Is tapping into the energy of learning from your mistakes and learning from the world in general, learning from your emotions, learning from the knowledge that you've received, learning from learning by learning from the information you were previewed to that allowed you to maneuver your state of being, right? For others of you, you could have an actual external influence as, um, you know, representing this energy. So you could have an Aries, maybe an Aries mother, maybe an Aries father as well, kind of like this higher, this um, this emperor, this uh, adult type authority figure in your life. Um, maybe your boss could be an Aries as well, if it's a workplace, right? But I do... I do see, um, I do see them looking at you like you're learning from the past. I do think they're like, whatever external influence, for example, if you have a family member that's an Aries and things of that nature, I do feel like they're, you're like, um, I do feel like they see you learning from the past and wanting to move forward from the past, right? Like, and kind of do better for yourself in certain ways here. Um, and I do see them looking at you like you have what it takes like you're on the throne in some way shape or form like it's up to you right if it's uh if you don't do it no one will type energy with this emperor and i think they i think they know that and i think that's in relation to this judgment card here i'm seeing a lot of major arcanas already i do see three um the best path for you to walk we have the moon you know you're ruled by the moon cancer although it is a pisces card um the chariot is your card in tarot but you are ruled by the moon as well um, and like I said, I was saying this earlier, I was, as I was shuffling cancer to follow your dreams, right? And certain things may not, may not be what it seems, right? So there's certain people or certain things you may be going back to, or you may be hesitant to make a decision here, but it's like, um, some clarity needs to be found so that you can make a decision so you can move forward because you understand that you don't have, you may not have a lot of quote unquote time, Right? I think you want to do this. You want to do this. You want this is something you want to you want to move forward with now, right? In January, and I think you're realizing that. So it's like you you're developing clarity so you can make a decision because you understand that, you know, January is the time. This is the time to take action on it. Um, so you're kind of in the crossroads with what decision you need to make and how you want to move forward here. Um, I do see that you may be going through some trouble with your finances here. There may be a lack of harmony in your career life. But on the outside in, 
people are people know that you can do it and you and you can be in a position of authority and you can call the shots or not just call the shots if you're in a if you're in um if you're in a career scenario but also call the shots for yourself so you know what situations to put for yourself and what to curate for yourself in terms of finances here so you do have what it takes there's a lot of things i do feel like you can learn from your past and um i'm hearing follow your dreams right follow your dreams and that could be in relation with this emperor as well so it's like you're learning from the past experiences, people, places, and things so that you can go towards your dream life. And I think that's what's going to help you make a decision here to, with some clarity, right? Because things are kind of, um, with this moon energy, things may be a little illusioned. Like I said, not what it seems. And it may be fogging your vision to develop this clarity. But trust your heart and trust your intuition and trust your dreams. Also trust the past, right? To understand who you are now and how you want to move forward here with this emperor energy. That way you can kind of clarify this dream and um move forward with what you want to move forward with here right because this moon card is can be very important to you we're going to get into the outcome card here and the outcome card is the ten of pentacles i do believe that we've seen that earlier so i do see fulfillment with your home life i do see fulfillment um with a family in the future i do see fulfillment within your money your status as well whether this is a love and relationship or business for you guys wherever it resonates in your life um the Ten of Pentacles is fulfillment with a, with a sense of status, and this could be going from single to relationship, from relationship to married, etc., right? Um, this can also be inheritance. This is wealth. So I do see I do see family and generational wealth here. I do see like a union, maybe a union of energies, right? It's like you guys kind of doing things together, maybe in accordance to this dream that you have. Maybe, maybe there's a dream that you have that, you know, you want to do things together as a family unit. You kind of want to build something bigger than yourself, maybe for some of you guys, Cancer. And um, I think that can come to you here. I think that can come to you here. I do see you want to move forward. We do see a lot of powerful energies here. So you do have power on your side and you do have a lot of energy on your side. You just have to be mindful of where you're placing this energy and what you're paying attention to. I do see in position six, the moon. You have to pay attention to your dreams here. Some of you guys, you may, get, you may be getting messages, information, a quote unquote downloads from your dreams and things of that nature. So you may need to maybe check your maybe tap into your dreams a little bit maybe try to um maybe if you have a certain quartz you can put that under your pillow um maybe do some writing a little bit before and, uh, and after you wake up to kind of train your subconscious mind that you you do want to perceive certain messages within the dream realm and you might get some information there for some of you guys um i'm hearing as well maybe note down some of your dreams and aspirations that you have within the world cancer and there may be some things that you want to move forward towards and you want to you kind of want to live that life right you want to live that dream life for you, Cancer. So this is very good in January. I'm seeing a lot of good energies for you guys, Cancer. Um, my Cancerians out there, I see Earth. I see a lot of Earth. We see the Six and the Ten of Pentacles. This is harmony and this is wealth. So I think that's all being developed right now. And I think what you're doing, you're developing a sense of harmony to create a sense of wealth. And not just wealth, but generational. Not just for you, but for a family, for, for, for all that. You'll be able to do a lot of things with this, right? Structure, emotional. Like this is this is overall fulfillment within your status right so if it's not money for a lot of you guys it's going from it's it's something it's a relationship that you really want right it's a position in life that you really want that you really really fulfills you here i don't see any water energy oh we do have the moon though so that is very strong um but i do see earth i do see air the emperor fire and the moon water so we have all elements here in major energies a lot of major arcanas i'm as i get goosebumps right now as far as this mystery card, I'm surprised. But comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think this mystery card is. This is very nice to my Cancerians. I think once some clarity is developed here, and, and I think you can move forward from this crossroads based upon this judgment energy, I think you're ready to move forward, right? You're being judged. You're being judged in the astral realm. You're being judged in the spirit to make a decision. And you're being called, not just judged, but called to make a decision that'll help you move forward here cancer so what what are you feeling called to and what decision needs to be made in order for you to move forward you got to trust your intuition with that moon energy you got to trust your dreams the dream state the dream realm and actual your actual dreams that you want and aspirations that you want to live out in this life those are the two things that you could find answers in and you got in order to do that as well in order to look, then know what you want to move forward to with your dreams you got to trust your past be this emperor energy utilize some of this emperor energy maybe there's someone in your family that's an aries maybe that can help you um maybe make the decision maybe understand what you want to go towards in the life you want to live in the future here maybe they can help you 
make a decision. Maybe that maybe that maybe that information is good for you. If finances are a little bit of trouble, you gotta focus on your dreams. Is there is there something that is there a dream job that you would love to do? What is that? That's gonna bring you the harmony here, and that's gonna help you get over this hump, right? And if you're not able to do your dream job right now, what is something that you could do that'll leave you a little bit harmonious? That'll leave you to giving back and receiving, right? That'll kind of keep the cycle flowing to where you your ship is afloat. Your ship could stay afloat here, right? And you're not drowning and things of that nature. Let's check it out. I do feel maybe some fire. I don't know. I see the emperor here. That's, that's top fire energy. I do feel like you have the power to initiate what you need to initiate here, which is nice. We're going to get into it right now. Let's see. Um... Let me make a guess. Let me take a guess. Maybe Earth. Mm. We have the six and we have the ten. That's wealth and that's harmony in your finances. You have finances on your side for sure. Maybe a little stump right now for some of you guys, Cancerians. But it's on your side. And the outcome of this is wealth. So wealthy in the spirit, wealthy in the family, wealthy in the money, right? Sense of stability, wealthy home. Okay, let's see, let's see. Maybe another major, because we have a lot of majors here, but let's check it out. Ah, fire. See, I kind of mentioned we had, we didn't, we kind of lacked fire here with the Emperor, but still very strong. So the Seven of Wands here. See, so Seven of Wands, you're standing up for your actions, right? So you're standing up for the actions that you have to take. See, you making this decision, whatever decision that you're going to make here, Stand on it strong. That's my advice for you. Stand on it strong. And if there's meaning and reasoning to why you made a certain decision, that's fine. But stand on it strong. And there may be people that may not like this decision. You may feel like you're going at war with whatever you chose, right? But there's something here that's allowing you to move forward, maybe from the past, right? Maybe there's something from the past that's helping you move forward. So you're thinking, you're, you're, you have con conflicting thought forms about it, right? Conflicting ways of thinking. But I do see you're going to have to stand up against the actions that you take for the actions that you've done, right? Right? And there, there may be something that you have to set the stage against, right? But I think this is you as an individual, really. I think this is you, something that you're called to as an individual, you're called to take action on and with, right? You're very passionate about this thing that you're taking action on as well, whether it's a relationship, a business, right? Um, a life way of living but you're taking action on it and people may not people may not like that but i'm hearing you got to do what's for you as an individual we have leo here and you got to stand on it with strength if there's meaning and reasoning here especially with that judgment energy it's time for you to it's time for you to do what you got to do right we got two tens so you're completing a cycle and starting a new cycle so stand on it strong don't have fear Move with confidence here. Move with strength. I think you're seeing which way you want to take action right now as well for some of you guys, Cancerians. What's the best way for you to take action on this thing? On this, whether you make it, what decision you make, right? It's like you're going to make a decision now. What action are you going to take on it, right? Very interesting. Well, thank you, my Cancerians. I hope this brought you clarity. Love from me, Namo Himalaya. As always, I'm watching from afar, and I'm rooting for you. If you guys would like to learn anything else about the channel, hit the description box below. Comment down below, Cancers. Let me know how you feel. You're getting this video a little bit early. As usual, we do Cancer readings every Sunday. So make sure y'all tap in. I appreciate y'all. Back to new routine and schedule next week. As always. I got a moon queen, young MC knowing better cause I gotta do right G you know me And I had to build it up just for my team and my family Kept it going on my feet, 10 or 20 toes, man you know it G And that's just how I'm coming, man you know I'm true to me I had to set the plan, didn't know I was executing me And if you don't see me presented in the present, then I'll be the time I'll be walking divinely alive, 777, seeing all my past, you know I'm fly And I'm flying with the angels, man it's our time MC triple three, I'm rapping on the beat, it's also coming here And they don't know about the boom.